I've been making texture packs for over two years, and I think I've gotten pretty good at it. Nice. One of my biggest problems is that I take too long because I either overthink stuff or get stuck on textures. So in order to fix that, I've decided to try and challenge myself to make a texture pack in 10 seconds, 1 minute, and 10 minutes. The way this will work is that when I'm making the 10 second texture pack, for example, I can only spend 10 seconds on each texture. So that being said, let's jump right into it. And I'm starting the timer in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, timer is off. I've started. No going back now. Uh, I'm already, I already messed up. No. no, 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 not like this, not like this, not like this. Please, let me fix this, please, please. <laughs> no! What is this? What am I looking at? Let me stop this timer. What is, what is this abomination of the color purple? All right, now that didn't go quite as well as I thought it would. And that's pretty much a summary for how the entire 10 second pack making process was like. Now granted, some textures don't look half bad for them being made in 10 seconds, but some other textures, well, um, uh, and the blocks sadly were no different. I think the cobblestone and the stone brick are probably the best looking blocks on the 10 second pack, which gives you an idea of what all the other blocks must have been like. <laughs> it's the best texture pack I've ever made. Wow, look at all these HD items. Look at this. Look at his quality. Look at this cobblestone. Look at <laughs> Look at the gold blocks. Look at the diamond. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? Alright, for better or for worse, I'm playing one game of Treasure Wars, and, um... I mean, guys, you gotta admit, like, the sky is just unmatched in quality. This, this is the planks, by the way. For a second, I thought this was some sort of brick. These are the planks. Look at the beautiful ingot. Oh, yeah. Now, this is... Now, now this is what I... This is everything I've ever wanted from a texture pack. Alright, so in the perfect world, seeing as I'm using uh, the best texture pack possible, I think it's only right to, to let him win. Or not. Alright, so this texture pack gets a smiley out of 10. Uh, this truly is a texture pack of all times. Um, let's make the one minute texture pack. Alright, it's now time to start on the one minute texture pack. I have my timer ready and let's just start. Let's go for it. Okay, let me first of all erase this because I don't like that part. Not going too well, to be honest. Um, okay, I've got 30 seconds left. This might actually turn into something. Go down here. Let's make sure we can finish this sword before I try to change anything too much. All right, this is actually looking pretty good. I'm actually, man, this actually looks kind of cool. Now, I wish I could say that every single texture looked just as good as a sword, but that wasn't the case. While every single texture was a thousand times better than their 10 second counterpart, I still felt like there was a lot I could improve on. Now, I can say the same for the blocks, and I mean that in a positive way because the blocks turned out way better than I thought they would. The one minute planks I made for this pack look better than some of the textures I've spent days on in some of my previous pack. Overall, I'm just really excited to see what this pack looks like in game. Yo, this looks good! Wait, this- uh, wait, okay, let's- that's not- I'm not- Dude, the rest- look at these planks, bro! Yo, these planks look actually so good. The stone, the cobblestone, this is actually in contention for being better than the 24-hour pack. Yo, now this is what I call a pack. Planks in all of their glory. Shee! Alright, Blue, super sorry, but I'm using a one-minute texture pack. I'm gonna have to kill you. Listen, if I- if I almost won with a- with a 10-second texture pack, then- you're really no match for, for this texture pack. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's it's over. It's over. I'm sorry. Can I break this? Bro, hello. What? Hive. You're scamming me. This is such a bad server. What? What? Why this guy here? What? What happened there? What you saw right there was envy, ladies and gentlemen, okay? That player was envious of my texture pack, and he, he wanted to kill me for it, okay? That's a, that's a dangerous man right there. And I'm kind of scared that he's gonna go for me, so I'm gonna buy myself blocks and waste my diamonds on an iron sword. <laughs> please, please, I take it back, okay? I'm so sorry, it was an accident, okay? The, the sword just kept swinging at you, okay? I'm sorry. Leave me alone, dude. No, don't build up. That's so cringe, dude. Nobody does that. It's 2022, bro, please. So my game plan here is to just run. It's a strategy invented by um, Mr. Noob. Um, he was a very wise, wise player. Pretty... What did I say? What did I say? This texture pack makes you the goat of every single game you play, okay? If this texture pack is so good, with me just spending one minute on each texture, how good is a 10 minute texture pack gonna be? Find out next episode, I'm joking, I'm gonna make it right now. 
So seeing as the 1 minute texture pack was such a massive improvement over its 10 second counterpart, you naturally assume that having 10 minutes would make every single texture look basically perfect. And for the most part, you'd be right. Having 9 more minutes was extremely liberating and it finally gave me the chance to really try to make every single texture look as good as I possibly could. Textures like the Gapple or the Ender Pearl got exponentially better with the more time that I had. And I think that's true across the board, every single texture saw some sort of improvement. Now funny enough, the one area that I didn't see as many results as I hoped was the blocks. And I know that's ironic because the blocks I made for the 1 minute pack were really good, so you'd assume that I could make an even better texture off of that groundwork. And while that's true in theory, I think I was just out of ideas at that point. I was pretty burned out, I was making packs the entire day, and I think I just wanted to go to sleep, honestly. But don't take my word for it, let me show you guys the pack and let you guys decide which pack was the best considering the time that I had. Oh my god! Alright, the 10 minute pack is done, and I think I'm gonna start with the most obvious change, which is the armor. You can finally see the armor. I just, I can't make an armor texture in, in, in one minute, or, or two minutes, or three minutes. I need some time for the armor. I think the stone looks a lot better. I didn't change much of the cobblestone, or much of the stone brick. Grass and dirt also look improved. Um, you also have the swords. I didn't change much, I changed a couple of pixels. Um, I think the biggest difference you can't even see which is that i added like a little a little diamond piece at the bottom but i hope that you can notice the overall trend which is that uh these textures aren't really improving by that much only if i mess them up dramatically but overall this has been a really fun experience i'm 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 overall surprised with how much i could get done in a single day for making this pack but i definitely noticed that i was draining myself from ideas while making this pack which is probably why i just i take my time is so that i don't get drained and i would love to buy a sword here sure don't mind me i'm just gonna buy a sword there you go thank you thanks to the teamwork so to finish off i hope you guys learned something about packs and gain a new appreciation for packs and pack making if you want to see me make a pvp pack in 24 hours you can go watch that video and you can also become a channel member to gain access to the 10 minute texture pack you see in this video with that being said thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Goodbye.